I want you to understand that a lot of the, a lot of these joints are professional side chicks, meaning that she probably have a good amount of body. She is serial killer. She has been shooting in the gym. So when she get a hold of your man, she's going to do some things to him that he might have asked you to do back in the house. And you, oh, I don't do that. No, I'm not. No, you, we got boundaries. You making being intimate with your man feel like a job. Like you working at Burger King and, and you mad, you got to take the grease out. So moving forward, a lot of the things I'm going to talk about in these videos is either things I've experienced or currently experiencing because I am married. I'm not going to disrespect nobody. I'm not going to come at nobody sideways. You feel me? Because at the end of the day, it's a problem out here that we all need to find a solution to. So like the videos, leave a comment, let's build together. All right, so I want to create a scenario. You're an attractive lady. Everywhere you go, men approach you, trying to shoot their shot. They see the pretty face. They see the big titty, small waist. They see the yams. They eat all your starches. Now, you're ambitious and you're loyal. So when they shoot their shot, you shut it down because you got a man at home. Then one day you find out that your man cheated on you. You see the girl he cheated with, you're not impressed. So now you're going through the text messages. You see the back and forth flirting. You even come across the pussy pics that she sent your man. Still, you're not impressed. You start asking yourself, why would this man cheat on this with that? That's a good question. All right, so there's a few different reasons why your man would cheat on you with the ugly duckling. We're going to tackle the first one, okay? First one is not enough sex. Plain and simple. That's the first one. Not enough sex. Think about when your relationship first started, right? When y'all was just getting to know each other. Everything was just spontaneous. Netflix and chill didn't mean that y'all actually finished the movie. In fact, the movie watched y'all. Now we can just sit there, we watch the movie, and we just talk about it afterwards. Nine times out of ten, your man don't even want to talk about the movie. <laughs> he just offered to Netflix and chill because he wanted to get your ass sitting down in that room, hoping it would lead somewhere. Now, I'm not saying it's right that your man cheated on you. Any form of cheating is wrong. You feel me? Any form of cheating is wrong. I'm just going to give you some reasons as to why he feel as though he might need to. We're real visual. So imagine your man walking outside. He's seen all these beautiful women. And, you know, we speak to ourselves in our head. See a chick walk by and like, damn, she fine this shit. Damn, I'm a fuck the shit out of this bitch. Like, these are things that we say to ourselves, right? And trying to be good men, we're not going to act on our natural instincts to try to take her down, right? What we're going to do is we're going to come home and we're going to take out all that sexual frustration and energy on you. So imagine your man walk through the day, seeing all these beautiful women, he photographed that in his mind, and he's like, man, when I go home, I'm about to fuck shit out my girl, man. I'm going to shit out my girl. Throughout the day, he's, that's all he's thinking about. He get home, try to be intimate with you, and now it's... It's met with resistance. You making being intimate with your man feel like a job. Like you working at Burger King and, and you mad, you got to take the grease out. We feel that. We feel that energy. Stop making that shit feel like a job. Because we all know when somebody don't like their job, they do just enough so they don't get fired. Be more intimate with your man. If a shit start questioning your bro, is it me? Like, am I not doing something right with my shorty? He don't go out there and make sure he still got it. When you do stuff like that, you low-key handing your man to the ugly duckling on a silver platter. Again, I'm not saying it's right that he cheated on you, but I want you to really understand. A lot of these are professional side chicks. I want you to understand that. A lot of the, a lot of these joints are professional side chicks, meaning that she probably have a good amount of body. She is a serial killer. She has been shooting in the gym. So when she get a hold of your man, she's gonna do some things to him that he might have asked you to do back in the house. And you, oh, I don't do that. No, I'm not. No, you, we got boundaries. You start setting boundaries for your man. She don't have no boundaries. She swallow and don't spit. Again, cheating ain't right. I'm just giving you a reason why sometimes men cheat with the ugly duckling. Most times, men can cheat without being emotionally attached. You got your man walking around out here with his balls full. You playing a dangerous game. You playing a dangerous game. What what I suggest to you, right? Try this. Try this. Try this for if you're looking at this video right now 
and you're in a relationship and you're a lady, I want you to try an experiment. Empty your man's balls for the next two weeks. I guarantee you the atmosphere around that house changes. Even when he not even on you trying to have, just jump his bones for the next two weeks. And I guarantee the atmosphere around that house changes. I'm going to tell y'all a story for when I was just like, all right, something got to change. This happened a couple years ago. At the time, I think my wife was working as a, a microbiologist at the CDC. And she was also going to aesthetic school. At the time, it was just a whole bunch of being busy. I think they were writing some type of research paper at her job. And then she was studying and, and doing practicals to learn how to get facials. Like, she gave me a few facials. You know I'm saying that's why my skin's so smooth. But... Our sex life was non-existent. We was going like two, three weeks without doing nothing. And every once in a while, she would throw me some pity pussy. Now, I'm not going to lie, bro. Pity pussy is trash. Because at the same time, like, you could tell that she not into it. And it affects you on some like, yo, bro, nah, bro. Like, is it me? Right? So, still horny. It, it, got, to, it got to a point where sometimes she will try to give me something. And I'd be like, nah, I'm good, man. You ain't into it. I'm not going to do that to myself. So I'm walking around, balls on full. I went to work one day, bro. It's this old lady at my job. I ain't even gonna say she old. She older. She was way older than me. You feel me? Miss Gloria. Miss Gloria like 57. At the time, I think Miss Gloria was like 57 or, or 58. I'm not sure. I'm I'm at the time clock. My boy Miss Gloria walked in, and I said, God damn, Miss Gloria got the yams. I ain't even know she had the yams like that. My, this is a this is an older woman, son. She's old enough to be my mom's. Like, I have never looked at nobody over 40 <laughs> until that day. And I was like, shit. That's when I knew, bro. I'm like, yeah, nah. Something got to give, bro. I, I went home and had a conversation, son. Because when you horny like that, your spidey senses get to tingling, my boy. Like, you start seeing things that, <laughs> that may not exist. You start... <laughs> You start seeing things, bro. You start noticing things about certain women, my nigga. Like, being being in, in that vulnerable ass state, it's not a good thing at all. That's not a good thing at all. I know they got a certain movement now where dudes, they do the semen retention and all that. I, I got you. You feel me? I I practice it for, for, like, a month. It's cool. But in that situation, no. Nah. Anyway, I came home and had a conversation with my wife, bro. Like, you gonna have to give me, like, a weekend or something because it's not, it ain't flying. I ain't never told nobody that story. But, yeah.